Hey everybody, what's going on? This is the Prime Sakash Corteen here. Just bringing you a quick little setup how to on how to record your PSP game sound and screen on your computer. I'm using my netbook for today. And also do a record with your voice in it as well. Now, for this how to, you're going to need the PSP USB cable, the PSP obviously. The PC that you're going to do it on, obviously. I'm using a wireless Afterglow headset, so I'm going to need to use the USB transmitter so I can transmit my voice into the computer. I want to record this PC stream recording program called Bandicam that I'm going to be using. And you got to have your headset. Oh, and also, you need to have, if you're using Afterglow like I am, you need to have your 3.5 millimeter audio kit, mail to mail audio cable too, because you're going to have to plug this up into the PSP and the other end into your PC's mic slash headset jack so the computer will begin playing the PSP sounds inside of it and then you set it up as a secondary sound so let's get started so we'll do between the PSP and the PC first take your end of your USB that you got plugged into your PSP plug it up Oh, and another thing, you got to have remote joy light on your computer too, the PSP Type-B driver, and also you need to have on your PSP, you need to have the PRS plug-in file in for the um, remote, so you can use remote joy light, because that's how I'm going to be broadcasting the PSP screen on the computer. Anyway, let's get through it. So, take the USB, and you put it on any side of the computer with a USB, it doesn't really matter as long as that USB port works. For me, I gotta turn on the computer. Hopefully, it has power. It does. So, I'm guessing it's gonna go on the system re resume because I was trying to do this yesterday, but I was too sleepy and I didn't want to post a, a video of me talking all low, slow, low and so I guess trying to do this, so I'd rather did to do it today. But yeah, watch my computer, you move another look mine so kind of quick. I'm just put in my password. And, bam. Okay, so now, on the computer. What I did, I just dragged my remote joy light version 19 program as a shortcut and put it on my PC desktop, so I'm going to open up Remote Joy Light, move over and click on Run, and bam. Now the reason why the screen ain't playing yet, the PSP screen not showing up yet, is because I haven't turned on the PSP. So, running on the bias that you got the custom firmware on the PSP already, and the plugin, the Remote Joy Light plugin, you got to have it all, and you can either set it to automatically be enabled, or you can enable it and then reset the PSP. Since I already have the plugin turned on, you know, I can just turn it on. So, turn on PSP, and the screen will pop up because I was in the middle of the fight. And as you can see, the PSP screen is on the PC. Now, we got to get the audio to sound best by putting it connecting directly into the PC. So what we do now, let me just turn this down. We take one end of your wireless afterglow 3.5 millimeter male to male audio cable. Plug it into the P okay. Plug it into the PSP. Like so. It's plugged in. Take the other side, plug it into your PC. Now, if you're do, doing this on a house computer, like a home PC, and you know that most of those PCs have all the um, cave, all the uh, jacks, audio jacks, different. And I'm gonna show you this because I got my home PC right over here. You can tell. 
I can't really tell, and I know you guys can't either. Um, but I don't know. Okay, let me turn on the computer. Turn on the PC screen for the computer. Let me see if the lights will be so bright that it shows up. Yeah, that's my house computer. Um, that I use. Yeah, I'm press right there on that. Because I'm trying to see if I can. Because uh, I didn't think I would need flash, so I didn't use flash, and also like going over to like I'm kind of lazy, and just came from school, so I'm kind of lazy and tired. Okay, screw it. But anyway, my house computer has three different uh, audio jacks. I'm gonna show you all that later. But let's get back to the setup. So we're just gonna move right on back over here. Kind of gotta hurry up because my PC. Charger is acting dumb and I gotta fix it and my PC doesn't have that much battery life. So once you connected the audio cable from the PSP to the PC and the USB cable from the PSP to the PC, load it up remote joy light and the screen is showing and you you I would prefer if you had the game loaded up already. You load up the game, then you plug it in. Bam, bam. Now what we need to do is connect the wireless Afterglow headset or whatever headset you're going to use to your PC. So what we do now, take the USB transmitter, the Afterglow USB transmitter, and plug it up to the other side of the computer. Like so. Wait a minute. Teamwork. Like so. And you know, Afterglow, wireless Afterglow headset users, you know that once you plug in the USB transmitter to a PC or to any device you're going to plug it up that has a USB port, it's going to automatically start blinking because it's looking for the headset. Take the headset, hold the power button, aka the mute button, turn it on. This is the mic right here, but let's not get into this. Okay, now, from your computer, you're going to move over to double click on Bandicam. That's the one I prefer you guys use. I mean, you can use any PC or whatever you want. But I would prefer if you use Bandicam. I have my Bandicam full version for free. So, aha, to all of you. Who doesn't? Who pay for it? Because you're stupid. Because <laughs> you could have got it for free. Oh, you're not stupid because, I mean, maybe you don't want to try to look around for it for free. Cause, I mean, it's kind of hard to get programs like that for free. So yeah. It's saying I'm not registered, but that is not a problem because in this top almost top right corner of my screen, I have a little program right here called Crack Bandy Cam twenty fourteen edition. So what I need to do is open up Bandy Cam and I gotta close it. Because I need to re-register the registered full version. So I must click on crack, click on OK, click on crack again, click on OK, and bam. Double click bandy cam, click on yes, and in a couple seconds, kapuya, bandy cam will be fully registered again. And then I can come here with the video. See, it says Bandy Cam. And it didn't show that little pop up saying it's not registered. It's registered. And to prove it, license information, email address, and then serial number, blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, now, I need to show you how to play the audio, get the audio, and the, um, the audio from the PSP on the recording and the audio from you using the headset into the recording. So what you do, you go on Bandy Cam, you go on the video, and you click on settings. This window will pop up. The sound settings should pop up first. If you that's what you clicked on, you make sure you check have the check on record, sound record, and you have both devices, your primary sound device and your secondary sound device 
open by clicking on this little checkbox right here that says two sound mixing. But if you know if you want to use one sound like just a headset, then you can do that with just PSP, you do PSP. Okay, for the second sound, we will do the um primary sound, I guess we'll try the primary sound capture driver. And for the top sound we'll do the epiglow headset. I'm guessing for the primary sound driver. Oh, okay. I I think I need to put it on um Windows seven sound. So the PSP while it's playing audio. I'll just turn up the PSP volume. Okay, and uh let's just click on settings to ensure. I'm guessing that it will be playing in the computer. I'm guessing it is. I don't know, but um this should work. This will work. And you click on OK and you know then you click record. But before we click record, I want to tell you guys something. You see how we have the PSP audio going right into the PC? And you realize there's nothing being connected to that school headset besides the transmitter? This means if you do it this way, the way that I'm telling you guys now, you will not hear your PSP audio unless, A, you have a... Uh, um, uh, audio cable that has two um, 3.5 millimeter jacks and then it's a Y cord of three. I think it's called a 3.5 millimeter Y cable, audio Y cable. If you have that, then you can plug up this piece to the PSP and the other piece to the headset. And I'm trying to develop a new way using my capture card over there and the cord in my um audio to 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm trying to develop another way of doing it so I can hear the audio. But from this method, you won't hear the audio until after the um, game is done. So, we will just, you know, for Bandicam, you, if you want to, you can click on the little circle, I mean the little um, magnifying glass. Make sure it's hovering over the the remote joy light screen. Now, you know, you can take this down or whatever your hotkey is to record. You can click on it and bang. I think, I don't know why, but the, uh, I don't know. Sometimes this happens, the PSP will crash, and so it won't crash on remote joy. Sometimes the remote joy light will crash, and sometimes the PSP will crash because of the plug-in. That is no GFP. I mean, I did have this thing going all day, so I can understand why it crashed. But, uh, yeah, I'll need to power it back on, and it should pop up on this PC screen. Actually, I don't know why it's not popping up. Oh, no, what's going on? Okay, let me open it back up. Click on run. Okay, there we go. But it's doing that slow thing maybe used to do before. I don't know why it's doing that, but anyway, you know, do this. I would click F12 to record, and it instantly starts recording. And I'm going to just move this around a little bit. And then press F12 to stop. And then I would go to your little arrow, and um, I don't know. You don't go to the little arrow to check out wherever the save is in your directory, in your output folder. I mean, you go, you click on open, and your new video that you just recorded will be there which in this case is here right here. My speakers don't work on my computer, so I will take out the audio cable for the PSP and plug it into the P into the 
so you can hear it. And they record the they hopefully record the PSP stream too. And basically that's how you do it. So if you did like this video, you know, uh, drop a like. Leave a comment in the section down below if you got any troubles, and I will help you. This is Patrick 14 signing off, so peace out.